In this world where there's so much stuff online and we're so connected to these digital devices, how do you, um, how do you deal with digital detox yourself? I think one of the biggest things for me in a digital detox is just like a diet detox. The first step is awareness. Hmm. So if you want to lose weight, gain weight, gain muscle, lose muscle, whatever it is, you would have to look at what do you put into your body. Yeah. And I always say to people that health isn't just what you eat, it's also what you think. And so the first step is in awareness. So what I ask people to do is build a digital diet sheet. Okay. I actually ask people to sense their awareness and actually journal their awareness of how much they're on their phone and how often. Okay. Because when you see that, that awareness will already do half the work. Right. As soon as you start seeing, I spent two hours a day on Instagram. Right. I spent an hour on Facebook. I spent an hour on Netflix, whatever it was. And I'm not judging you and I don't want you to judge yourself. What I want you to do is build a genuine diet sheet for one day, two days, three days. Right? And, the, and there's actually on your phone for like the iPhone, you look at the battery part and then it actually tells you the actual to the minute. Exactly. You know, in percentage you're spending how much is like 20 hours over that week on Instagram or something like that. Absolutely. So the first step is awareness. Yes. That's all I want you to do is take out some time to just journal down your usage. Okay. Now, if you are saying to me and you're listening to this going, Jay, I already know I spend too much time on social media, then you don't, then you can go straight to the second one. The second one is build no technology zones in your home. Okay. No technology times and no technology zones in your home. Set rules, parameters and barriers. So I always say to people that I don't like using my phone in the kitchen or the bedroom because it's more fun to eat and sleep with people. Right. So remove technology from places where you can really mm. build up beautiful human bonds with people. Okay. And usually it's the kitchen in our homes and the bedroom, whether we watch the TV in our bedroom or whatever we do, let's do that with people and whatever we do in mm. our kitchens eating, cooking, these activities, which are great for human interaction and bond building. Let's do that with people. And also for that's the place, but and also the time also. Yes. And the time and set no technology times in your home. Okay. So the other, so my example being, and I genuinely did this for, for years when I was practicing this, I locked my phone in my car outdoors. Okay. So that it would not be the first thing I looked at in the morning. No, that's beautiful. And I replaced it with a real alarm clock. And that's what woke me up in the morning if I needed an alarm. I've, right. I've trained myself to not need an alarm to wake up. But mm -hmm. if you wake up to an alarm, switch it to an, a real alarm clock. Beautiful. Keep your phone in another room. Do not wake up to your phone. Okay. Right? That can save you so much time and hassle. That sounds and, amazing. And the third step to doing a digital detox is don't to and fro and pendulum between lots of technology and no technology. Build a diet and slowly remove parts of it. So don't start saying, okay, for the next seven days, I'm not going to use my phone at all. Because all that's going to happen is when you reduce that consumption, you're going to come straight back and right. want to do it. I always joke about how when I lived as a monk, I didn't eat any sugar for three years, like wow. none at all. And the day I left, the first thing I did was buy myself tons of chocolate, <laughs> <laughs> eat all of it. When you, when you starve yourself of anything, your mind wants to go to the other extreme. It's very right. often a trick of the mind. So one of the things I recommend is once you build your digital diet sheet, set out your parameters in your home and your boundaries, see yourself removing step by step. So don't try and remove Instagram and Facebook and Netflix all at the same time. Right. Move one at a time. Make your change a big priority and a small step. Don't like try that. change everything at the same time. So people try and change all their digital habits all at the same time. Right. Just do one every week for a month. Little, because little things done consistently add up to big things. Totally. Most of us try and change four things in one week. Right. When all you have to do is change one thing one week for four weeks in a row.